All right. This is the game. Do the Packers commit the last choke? Is the last choke complete? Robbie Gold, the former bear. It's good. Let's fucking go. Holy sh crap. The San Francisco 49ers end Aaron Rodgers dream season. Beautiful. Wisconsin in shambles. Silent. Honestly, Packers, they don't deserve this, and I picked them to win the Super Bowl, so I probably look really stupid right now, but the road to the NFC is wide open. And what a, what a game for the 49ers defense, man. They played their hearts out. I wonder what... Wonder what the excuse will be this time. Probably the special teams because they gave them 16 points, which is fair, honestly. But that's it. The last choke. So that was the last dance. Yes, sir. Um, what a game played by the San Francisco. 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. Honestly, probably a top five game to watch this year in general. They both played their tails off. Um, I mean, <laughs> that was just heck of a game, man. Um, first thing I want to say, Aaron Rodgers does deserve a lot of credit for this loss, uh, deservedly. Um, even though I'm going to praise Demico Ryans and slander Matt LaFleur a lot later, you don't only put up 10 points in the playoffs after your when your defense holds the 49ers to 6 points. You don't only put up 10 points in the playoffs and lose after your entire career is a narrative of you outperforming the other team in the playoffs but your team chokes on defense. Right? That's just... That is just hilarious irony for Aaron Rodgers, who I have literally zero respect for as a person at this point. He might be a cool, radical dude. I have zero respect for someone like Aaron Rodgers. Um, I'm not going to talk too much crap on the Packers because the Bears are poverty. Uh, we haven't won anything that important in 40 years, so kind of hard to trash talk i do want to say the 49ers absolutely out coached the packers um the defensive scheme is the best that has been put against aaron Rodgers at full strength in probably two or three years um and shanahan as much as jimmy g struggled their receivers had george kittle dropped the touchdown pass in the first quarter um Debo was hurt. Uh, they couldn't run the ball. They had a ton of penalties in the red zone. They could have easily won this game by more points um, if they could convert on anything. But their special teams coordinator absolutely outcoached Green Bay. And I know Green Bay special teams, it was just historically bad as well. But you also have to understand that you don't line up 10 people on a field goal and expect anything. Like, your goal, your only goal of hope of winning the game is blocking that field goal, and you somehow only have 10 people out there. That's just embarrassing. That's sad. Plus, you get two blocked uh, kick attempts, one being a punt. And that's just, how does that happen in one game? That is so funny. That's so ironic that the one year Rodgers gets a defense, he does nothing, and the special teams collapses. It's so funny. I will never get over that. Also, Demico Ryans, who... If you go back to last offseason, I wanted the Bears to hire as our defensive coordinator if we weren't hiring uh, from the inside, which we did with the Psy, of course. I wanted Demico Ryans badly. Of course, I didn't think he was going to leave San Francisco, but I did really want Demico Ryans, and he absolutely showed up in this game. Probably the best coached game in a really long time I've seen from a coordinator who's not the head coach. Um, he'll definitely, if Rodgers even gives an inkling of staying in um, Green Bay this year, which I have like a 70% chance that I think he stays anyway. 
if he stays, then I give it about a 50-60% chance Demico Ryans is the Minnesota Vikings head coach um, as soon as the 49ers are eliminated from the playoffs. Now, there's so much to say about Aaron Rodgers, and there's so much to say about Matt LaFleur, but I do want to give some credit. Some Packers players did play incredibly, and I don't want to completely slander them. Aaron Jones, I think Devontae Adams saved Rodgers on a couple occasions as well. Um, and you also have to understand, Packers team wasn't at full strength. Bakhtiari didn't play. Jair Alexander basically didn't play. When he did play, he looked like a lost puppy dog. Um, I don't think Zedaria Smith even played that much, but I could be wrong about that. And then injuries to A.J. Dillon, who was kind of their bread and butter in that first half, even though they kind of choked that a few times as well. There's There are some parts. I think the Packers easily win this game nine times out of ten, honestly. There's, there's literally should be zero excuse for losing this game. It's so funny. That's why I think it's funniest. I picked them to win the Super Bowl, and I was perfect with my picks up to this point, so I'm kind of salty about it, too. I know I shouldn't be as a Bears fan, and I should, probably shouldn't have picked them to win the Super Bowl as a Bears fan, but I kind of hope that I jinxed it uh, in a way. So that's pretty much all I got to say. So thank you guys all for watching. Um, probably going to be going over a head coach evaluation or a GM evaluation this week maybe. Don't really got much to talk about as a Bears fan right now because the fan base is tearing itself apart. So the last joke fails. Jordan Love is your future. Devontae Adams is gone. Aaron Rodgers is gone. Matt LaFleur is a fraud. And Green Bay sucks. Peace out, everyone.